guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to show you how to play 1993 by Oliver Tree uh, from his uh, album which came out recently, which is Ugly is Beautiful. All I did many from that album, so you can actually check out my channel for more. Uh, and you can actually ask me down in the comment below any other song that you want to learn by Oliver Tree. And I'm plenty. So let's dive into this lesson, guys. Of Just have a look at the structure. We start off with this intro, uh, basically, when we also have one theme going. Then we have the verse, pre-chorus and the chorus. And after the chorus, we got another verse on the pre-chorus, the chorus, then a bridge and the chorus. So uh, specifically, we have two parts to learn for the song. One is this bass riff. Another is the chord strumming for uh, the different chord progression. There's in for only the chorus and the verse, pre-chorus, all are in like in this mainly based on this bass riff, which are having their own chord shapes. So let's get to have a look at the chord shapes. Now, guys, won't mind, please subscribe because I just want to reach 2,000 subscribers as fast as possible, and that will help me out a lot. And yeah, I'm arranging for new stuff. I will be actually improving my camera quality. Uh, then I'm just gonna buy a mic, but you just know more likely all the shops are actually most of the good shops are actually closed, so I don't want to buy a bad quality mic or anything. So just trying to buy some good shops for you guys. Uh, let's dive into the lesson, uh, the chord shapes, so we have the first chord of D major which is basically mute mute open second third second. It's a D major. Now what's a D flat? We just take it half step down. So you bring it over here, but now the thing comes that you will be only strumming the G, B and the high E string. So it's basically a D flat or you can even call it a C sharp, uh, same thing after all. So it's actually mute 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 then one, two, one. So same shape. Half step down, and then your ring finger is still fixed, and you just have this two fingers and add it on the second fret of the D and the G string. It becomes an A major chord. So mute open second 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 open, and then again uh, you lift off your index finger, you bring it on the second fret of the A string, and you bring your ring finger from that second fret to the third fret on the B string, and you're done with a beautiful chord, which is a B minor. So variation of the chord is basically mute to open second third second oh sorry mute to open second third open. Now we play the full chord right now. First things first, uh, let's learn the main bass riff. You guys might be excited to learn this. How it goes? So uh, let me break down that and then I'm just gonna show you how to play it in an advanced way. So mainly we have uh, just have a look at the chord progression for a minute. I forgot to show you another chord, which is the F sharp minor, which is two four four two two two. But that's a big option because you can just play the bass riff and play of that. So uh, the chord progression for the verse, intro, pre-chorus, for the bridge, and for all the parts except the chorus is F sharp minor and the A. So we just alternate between the F sharp minor and the A major chord. So super easy, beautiful. Now you can just strum on your own, otherwise in the chorus of the string pattern which I'm just going to show you, you can just apply that. But before that, this is actually the F sharp minor and A and on this the bass riff is based on. So we, let's get started, have a look at the tab with ba, 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 ba. So we got... We start off playing 2nd fret on the E string, we do a down. For, uh, basically we do palm meeting, having this part of your hand rested in front of the bridge of the guitar, get, it, get a very nice and soft sound. So make sure to get the palm area to add that nice choppy effect. So we got second fret on the E string, we are doing down, down. So we are doing down, down. Make sure that after you ring that, play that note, you just stop it from ringing. So pa, pa, like that. Pa, pa, ga, ga, pa, pa, like that. So you got. And then you have your pinky, you just bring it on the fifth fret of the E string, which is basically an A. So you and then you do down, up, up. So this picking is also very much important. So down, up, up. And again, make sure that you don't let the wrong uh, uh, notes ring. So if you let the notes ring, it will sound like this. But if you don't let it ring, it will sound like this. So you got up, up, down, up, up. And then you have down, up. Then you play fourth fret on the E string. And second fret on the E string, up. So down, up, and 
then you go back and repeat the whole thing. So in an easy way, this will sound like this. But if you just want to make it more advanced, the thing is, always keep your hand moving. So even when I'm not playing the notes, there are rest in between the gaps in between. I'm doing. That's the thing which I'm doing. There's not much uh, for me to tell you guys, but still, this is how you're just gonna play if you just wanna make it more sound cooler. And now we have the chorus. And for the chorus, the chord progression will be a D major, back to C sharp or a D flat, A major, then a B minor 7. Now the strumming pattern will be simple four down through on each chord. So So I did four dance trigger on each chord, whatever the chords may be, and that you can actually apply on this verse, pre chorus, chord progression. So let's play that on the chorus, sounds beautiful. One, two, three. That's the reason when I was show, just showing you the cause I told you the fingers how you just gonna change that because it will be a lot easy if you just see man fingers are still fixed I don't need to move my hand a lot that's the best thing over here uh, that's almost everything you need for this lesson I don't think anything is left out still it's helped you out make sure to drop me one of these again subscribe because I just want to reach return subscriber as fast as possible um, let me know down below any other song that you want on guitar and I'll see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.